Hi and welcome to another Seeing Double video. I'm Garden Girl Jane Gallagher and today I wanted to show you how you can incorporate some fun brighter colors on your layout as well as I want to show you how you can get a fun mist or painted effect by using stamps rather than a paintbrush. This is especially good for those of us, including me, that maybe feel a little bit art challenged. So first I'm going to start with some pattern paper from the Echo Park Paper Here and Now collection. It does have chalkboard on the back. And then I've cut down a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And I machine stitched around the edge with a yellow thread. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the center of my layout. Now when I'm determining where to add little swatches of paint, I think about where I'm going to place my final embellishments. And so I am going to be using a chalkboard solid pattern paper, or rather solid paper from Echo Park Paper. And I know it's going to go about right here. And then on the other side of this chalkboard, I'm going to have this pink pattern paper. And so I'm going to use this circle, circle here and I'm going to use this swatch here. And I'll just place the stamps right on top so I can get a feel for where they're going to go. And then I am going to use some yellow stamping ink. And you use whatever color of ink you want it to look like paint. So I wanted a subtle background color. And then I always place my stamping on a surface that has somewhat of a give. And this is a foam board that I've had for a while. And we're just going to ink up that paint swatch. And it looks like I have this perfectly formed paint glob right there. And then again, I want to place these on just to kind of get the placement where I want. And this one's going to go down here. And for this one, I'm going to do a little bit of a pencil mark. And just lightly so you can come back and erase it so I know where it's going to go. Again, I'll ink up my stamp. And then just eyeballing it, doesn't have to be perfect. We'll just add that to paint swatch there. And it just looks so beautiful. I love the effect without having to have any knowledge or understanding of painting. And you can continue to add them around the layout as you see fit. And also add one down here. So these stamps are from Hero Arts and there's several different kinds of paint looking stamps that I'll be sure to link you in the products section. So let's go ahead and build the rest of our layout. So I want to do another stamping technique and this is chalkboard solid paper. It comes from the 6x6 paper pad and it also is available in a sheet of 12x12 cardstock or 12x12 solid paper rather with another solid on the back. And I want to show you a technique, technique that I use. First I start with the piece of paper and I'll place it on a scratch piece of paper. And then I'll take some white chalk ink and I'll just lightly brush it across the surface. And that looks like a chalkboard. And then I'll use my finger to kind of rub it in a little bit. And I've used this technique before. And then my favorite way to get a chalkboard effect is to use a Versamark ink pad and then to use a stamp. And this is a Technique Tuesday stamp. It's an older one. And I'll be sure to link you to some other options. Basically, just pick a sentiment or an image. And using the Versamark ink, stamp it onto your paper. And then you're going to need some white embossing powder. And I'll take a sheet of... This is printer paper, scratch paper, whatever you have, and I will just shake the embossing powder right on top of that sentiment. Go ahead and coat it nice and good. And then I'll tap off the extra, and then using the fold in the paper, I'll just slide the rest of that embossing powder right back into the jar. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set this embossed image with a heat gun, and that will give it a raised surface, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. So this is what it looks like when it's been embossed with white embossing powder. This would be fun if you did it with another type of color, any kind of embossing color that you want. And it just creates that chalkboard effect that is so super hot on home decor and scrapbooking right now. So let's go ahead and start placing elements on our layout. 
We're going to create a little grid layout in the center here. I'll leave a little bit of room for a header that I've created. And then on, and it will, the paper will warp a little bit sometimes when you heat emboss it, so just make sure you have enough adhesive on it. So there are a lot of different kinds of bright colors in the two-piece store, so make sure you check all of those out. To the top of the camera, to the top of the chalkboard, I'm going to add some camera pattern paper. Again, this is from the 6x6 paper pad, but you can also get these in larger prints from Echo Park Paper in their Here and Now collection. We'll just add some fun stickers. This is also from that Here and Now collection. It says, remember. And then I have some mistable butterflies and these are from Studio Calico. If you have just pattern paper ones, you can use those as well. Just punch them out or die cut them. And you could add drops of mist to them or you could leave them as is. That's completely up to you. So the layout that I am going to do today is about my daughter and it's about her loving to create and work with art. And so I've created elements on the page that look like art pieces. I'm just going to switch this up a little bit so I get it exactly how I want it. So this is the photo that I am using and it is of her drawing and then I've made sure and got a close-up photo of her drawing as well. And to frame that I'm going to use this Polaroid frame from Heidi Swap and I'm going to place the photo inside and then before I place it all the way in I'm going to trim off some of that extra photo so that it doesn't stick over the side. You can use a paper punch if you want. I just tend to eyeball my items. Just add a little adhesive on the back and then close that Polaroid frame. And we'll mount that in the center of this pink pattern paper. And then I have a variety of tags that I'm going to add to this little grid. Tuck them behind that photo there. And I like the look of layering, so I like to add elements like this. And sometimes I'll change my mind about placement and I'll move things around. I do use permanent adhesive, but if you work quickly, you can move things to an area that maybe works better for you. Then from the Sweet Girl collection, I have a chipboard banner sticker that I'm going to use and I picked it simply because it matched the colors that I had in mind. And then behind this grid I'm going to add this fun L Studio date label. It's more like a file folder tab. We'll just place that behind. If you don't want to waste the whole thing just trim it off. Alright, here below I have some pattern paper from the Sweet Girl collection. If you don't have this collection, just look for a teal chevron. And we're going to place this block running a different direction than the other blocks, just to break up the grid a little bit. But I am going to match it corner to corner. I have some pattern paper from a My Mind's Eye collection and it was nice and bright and so I wanted to use that as well. I'm going to cut a pennant from it. We'll label this, mount this on the right side of this grid. Then I'm going to use some washi tape. It's a yellow chevron from Bella Boulevard. You'll notice that I tried to pick lots of different brightly colored elements. And that makes it kind of lively and fun. And I also think it translates well on a teen layout. Let's rip that off. And I have a bright pink tag. We'll overlap there. And then I have another sticker from the Here and Now collection and I've cut it out from the background 
It's a chalkboard sticker and I want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to add some adhesive dots to the sticker. We're just layering a bunch of different items from different manufacturers, but it makes it look cohesive because I've selected things that match and matter to me on this particular layout, so that makes it fun. And then down here I have another photo grid that I'm going to use, and I'm going to trim off a little bit off that bottom piece. I like using 6x6 six six pads for photo grids like this. Trim off a little bit more so you can see more of that paint. But 6x6 six six pads come in a little bit smaller print which are perfect for these grids. And then we'll trim off this bottom portion of the photo so you can see it. And I'm going to cover it. You'll notice that I've left white around the perimeter of the photo. I'm going to layer something on top of there, so I'm not really worried about that showing. At the top of the photo from the Sweet Girl Chipboard Stickers, I'm going to add this My Girl sticker. And then across the bottom here from the Lucky Charm Collection, I'm going to use the Sunshine sticker. And because it is see-through, you're going to want to add a pattern paper behind that. And I'm going to add some of this chalkboard paper. So I will just place it on, and I'll just trim around it so that it shows the chalkboard. And then before I stick this left side down, I'm going to take some gray baker's twine and wrap it around it several times. And then we'll tie it into a bow. Because I've moved this sticker around a few times, it gets a little less sticky, and so I might add a little bit more adhesive to it, especially where I added that pattern paper in the back. And then you can trim off any of the extra twine that you want to. Now we'll just add a few other embellishments around the page. This is a sticker from my mind's eye. It says say cheese. And we'll place that at the bottom of the Polaroid. Gives that a little more depth and dimension. One fun thing that you can add are some Heidi Swap neon photo corners. I'll just use these yellow ones. And they're really bright. But it adds just kind of some fun teenage flair to the page. I also have this Be Thankful die cut. And that is from Studio Calico. And we'll put it on top of the sunshine. That serves as a title. And the stamping I did, the You Make Me Smile, will serve as the journaling. And this is a die cut from the pier. And we're going to add that just underneath this sticker here. And we'll just gently lift it. We're going to let it overlap. We're not even going to worry that it overlaps. And then to add a little bit more texture, I'm going to add some enamel dots. And I have some fun ones from My Mind's Eye from the Collectible Collection. Come in some fun colors. This is a fun yellow. We'll just add them to the layout. So I want to add a little bit of color to these butterflies. So I'm just going to take some mist and I'm going to drop and flick right onto those butterflies. You could also use droppers. And just flick it right on. So there you have a layout that uses all kinds of bright elements as well as artistic elements to support the theme of my teenage daughter who is an artist. Let's go ahead and make a bonus project using these same elements on a card.
So these are the elements I'm going to use to start the card. I just have some folded cardstock, white cardstock, and then I have some pink pattern paper from that Here and Now collection. And we're going to go ahead and adhere that to the card front. And then just like we did in the last part of the video, we are going to add some stamping elements. We're going to use the circle stamp from Hero, Heart, from Hero Arts and some yellow stamping ink. Just added some paint splotches to it. And we'll go ahead and center this in the middle of the card. And then I wanted to add a pennant and this cool feather paper is within the 6x6 paper pad and in the collection kit in a full 12x12 sheet. Feathers are really fun and a lot of these papers are watercolored. So they're kind of cool looking. We'll just adhere this to the top. And then again, just like we did last time, I'm going to wrap some twine around this pennant a few times before sticking it down. And we'll tie it into a bow. You could add extra adhesive to the bottom of it as well, just to help it stick. And then using the same chalkboard effect, I have some leftover part of that chalkboard. You can also start by doing the embossing first and then coming back with the chalk ink and just dragging it across. And it gives it that cool, just been chalked look. Use your finger to kind of smudge it in a little bit more. You could also use a white pigment ink pad because they're a little more wet. Place this right at the bottom of this card stock and that'll be the sentiment for our card. And then I have a sticker that is a camera sticker and I'm going to use some adhesive dots to adhere it to the card. And we'll just place these on the back here. And then I think before I place the camera down I'm going to add some gray washi tape. This is from Pebbles. And we'll just thread that right underneath the twine. And we'll place it right here at the top. And then fold over the extra part. Now we can put the camera down and you just simply remove the adhesive on the back. And we're going to tilt the camera a little bit. So quick and simple card. You could also add some additional photo corners to it. You can add enamel dots. You can do whatever you want to kind of dress it up. Add some enamel dots to it. So using the same elements and some of the stamping techniques, we've created both a layout and a card. Thank you for joining me for today's Seeing Double video. Be sure to visit the website so you can find all of the products used in this video.